Hi friends, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. In the previous part, we learned about different thermodynamic processes. These thermodynamic processes can be reversed. That means their direction can be changed. In this part, we will be seeing different concepts of reversible process and irreversible process. So, st stay tuned. Hi friends, in the previous part, we have discussed about different thermodynamic processes. In this part, we will discuss about reversible process and irreversible process. So, what is a reversible process? A process which can be performed in the reverse direction. Right. So, a reversible process can be performed in a reverse direction. This is the first important point. The next important point the whole series of changes constituting the process being exactly reversed. The second important point is whole series of changes can be reversed. Whole series of changes can be reversed exactly. This is the second important point. Can be reversed exactly. Next, third and most important point is the direction of reversal process can be reversed by infinitesimal change in the state of the system. Right. It will not take in a single step. It needs infinitesimal states or infinitesimal steps to change the system to its original state. Right. So, such all processes following all this logics are called reversible process. So, the reversible process obeys all this logics. Right. And I think by this time you will get an idea what is irreversible process. Right. Irreversible process is opposite to the reversible process. So, what are the opposite points in irreversible process? Any process which goes from initial state to final state in a single step. Reversible process takes infinitesimal steps, right, or a series of steps, right, but a irreversible process just need a single step, right. And important point is any irreversible process cannot be reversed, right, cannot, cannot be carried in a reverse order. That means its direction cannot be reversed unlike a reversible process, right. So, such process are called irreversible process. And friends, the most important thing here is all the natural process are called irreversible process. Example, rain. Right. So, if the clouds give you rain, right, and this is a process, this process is raining, right, this process is raining, right. So, if it rains, you cannot reverse, you cannot take this process in the same direction, in the reverse direction. That means, if a drop of rain falls down, you cannot take this drop of rain again back to the cloud. Right. So, that is why they call, they are called irreversible processes. Right. So, all natural processes are irreversible processes.